Butch Court, show me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. And I'm back again and bringing you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. So today, we're going to talk about going pro on a budget. Yeah, that's right, man. You know, being a pro sometimes means taking advantage of better hardware, but it doesn't always have to be that way. You know, in fact, many players have to come up with a workaround if they want better FPS and lower ping and a more efficient control scheme. So let's get into that right away, shall we? But before we do that, it's time to get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Yo, and uh, let's make you a pro on a budget. So having the latest graphics card can really help you get a nicer looking game. You know, even faster processor can really help you guys achieve even better frames. Combine together and you can have a big beefy machine that can offer you an otherworldly experience with gaming. Unfortunately though, <laughs> graphic cards are nearly impossible to find and uh, those that are available can run at pretty hefty price. However, you don't need the beefiest PC in the world to go pro. You know, when it comes to competitive gamers, man, like a good FPS trumps the flashiest graphics any day. All right, so go into your settings menu and start just taking away things that you don't need. Like set your graphics to 1080p, change the aspect ratio, and change the graphic details. The goal here, and I mean like right here, is to maintain a good competitive FPS that will ensure you're as close as possible to 144 FPS. You know, 144 FPS works well for competitive gaming and it offers a smoother experience than 60. But uh, if your monitor just happens to be 60 HZ, then uh, at least just try to maintain the frame rate at 60 FPS. In some cases, Cases, like you can even bump up your FPS by a few points simply by using a different Fortnite skin. Yeah, that's right, guys. Like your cosmetic items can actually affect your FPS. Just like running around the island means more stuff to render. Having a reactive camo or, you know, even a character with a dynamic skin that moves around or, you know, effects such as flames causes the game to have to render that as well. So like you can also save your frames by getting a simpler glider. When it comes to FPS, you gotta stay on top and every little bit helps. So if you're looking for new tips and advanced tricks to use now, that you have your game running smoothly, how about visiting ProGuys.com by clicking on the link below. Like you're gonna find all sorts of valuable and helpful information that can help you become the pro you always dreamed of. Like if you still need help, you can ask a pro directly with our pro level coaching. You're guaranteed guys to learn something new, whether you're a brand new player or a Fortnite veteran. Need help? Let the pros guide you. All right, let's face it, not everybody has access to the best internet around. In fact, sometimes you're not in any position to make the decision of which internet plan your household gets. Perhaps it's too expensive or your parents don't wanna pay for more than they really need. Luckily, there are some workarounds that make it easier for you guys to maximize your connectivity no matter your situation. All right, so better internet speeds means that you can connect to the game faster, but also you can lose connection less often. But like you can also end up getting less ping. What exactly does ping do? Good question. Well, the more ping that you have, the more delay delay you're going to have whenever you input your actions. In a competitive field, a high ping can often mean a harder time trying to get bills down correctly or even targeting your opponent. Like if you have control over where to put your router, then consider having it close to your setup. Wi-Fi isn't the most direct way to connect to the internet and just making use of an ethernet port can really help you connect to your internet in a more direct fashion, right? While, you know, it's not the complete solution that makes your internet completely flawless, that direct connection will decrease your pings so you can have a smoother game experience. Like if that doesn't work, uh, you can also convert any electric outlet into a port using an ethernet adapter. This is usually the cheaper alternative when you can't bring your router closer to your PC, but you still wanna use the ethernet port. Like if you've installed Fortnite on PC, then odds are you have a full keyboard already. After all, most PCs come with the default keyboard if you bought them pre-made. But that doesn't mean the keyboard that came with your PC is great. Sometimes you don't want a very flat keyboard and that's the only option you got. You know, looking at the prices for better gaming keyboards, it, it can get pretty devastating for your wallet for sure. But if you still want an upgrade specifically for gaming, you can go for a half keyboard. These keyboards are usually less expensive, but do offer you a taste of what having a full keyboard uh, really is like. In some cases, like even be a bit more useful for when you want more space on the table for your mouse. So if you still want an alternative control scheme to keyboard, one of the most accessible forms is through a controller. If you happen to play on console, you don't necessarily need to upgrade to a PC. And in all honesty, man, to be real, it probably would be less expensive. While you might not be able to hit those 104 FPS, like you could still hit a solid 120 FPS at half the price. <laughs> you know, consoles are often more accessible than PC parts. 
And if you already have one, then you're already through the gate. Many consoles nowadays have the ability to plug in a keyboard and play using this control scheme. So if you do prefer to use one, then you can. PCs will always be more customizable, but if you want to start playing right away and your console outstrips your PC in terms of hardware, then you got to go for it. It's going to be a good place to start, you know, really working on your skills while you gather the resources for a change of platform. You know, this is also a good opportunity to learn how to master a controller setup. You're going to be able to take advantage of aim assist on a PS5. You can even use the new gyro controls to further maximize your aiming skills. All right, so let's talk about paddles and scuff controllers. Here we go. Because everybody knows like the best way to utilize your controls is to have everything within reach. And this is gonna help you build faster, make quick edits, and swap between items so much easier. Okay, so paddles come either as attachable add-ons to an existing controller or as part of a scuff controller, which many pros suggest using and even use themselves. And so even if you're on a budget, my friends, like though you may not be able to spring for that better controller, because of this, many controller players have taught themselves how to play Play claw. Yeah, man, playing claw is a great way to substitute paddles and ensures that all buttons are within reach. And so you're going to be able to use your index fingers to press the buttons on the right side of the controller. And this way, your thumb never leaves the stick and it prevents delay between moving and performing actions such as reloading or, you know, swapping weapons and even pulling out your blueprints. Some players are even able to play double claw, though it isn't always for everybody. You know, playing on a budget often means adapting so you can make the most out of what you got. Having a good headset is also an important part of making use of your hardware. You know, a player who has a good pair can really just block out all other audio in the room and just focus on playing the game. Not only that, but being able to focus on select sounds can really help you identify your opponent's actions, loadouts, and movements. And so paying attention to those tiny details can really help you become a pro even faster than you thought was possible. But you know, you don't always get the opportunity to use a gaming headset. Sometimes all you really have are headphones or even using that standard audio. Luckily, we got to work around what you can try. In fact, you're going to want to do this regardless because it's just so good. All right, so the audio visual settings was intended for people with hearing problems as a substitute for not being able to hear in game sound effects as much. Instead, you get a visual cue whenever somebody heals, opens fire, or even starts moving. Many pros are finding out that these additions to the game just make it so much easier to keep track of your opponents, even if they happen to miss a sound cue and so while it's still important to learn the different sounds of the game this is a very good tool for just filling the gaps so once you got your setup working, what else is there to do but practice? One problem that we sometimes come across is really not wanting to dive deep into the game unless we can just get it running on the highest settings. It's just that feeling of being incomplete, right? But the most important part about going pro is having the initiative to work with what you got. You know, maybe your graphics aren't max style like you wanted it to be, but hey, you know, after following these tips, you're gonna have a good FPS and a better control scheme. As long as your game is running smoothly, then you can keep practicing your mechanics and use them properly during a match. You know, Thanks to the lower ping, you're also going to be experiencing less delay. So you can pull off the cool tricks that you need to stay on top of the competition. So again, guys, you've got the thing set up. Now practice like your career depends on it. Before we drop you off today, don't forget to check out Pro Guys and find out how you can take advantage of the pro level coaching to become the next big pro. But of course, show me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. That's going to wrap it up today. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, my friends, you don't need the latest hardware to become a pro. You know, you can work your way up from what you have now and just optimize it to work better for you. Do this, I'm telling you, and you're going to see yourself rising up the ranks in no time. But you got to believe it first and then put that grind in. I believe in you, so keep going. Connect with me on my Instagram at yourmotivationguy. See you on the next one. Peace.